Well, welcome back YouTube. Um, it's a couple of days later. Um, some of the hair's gone, but a lot of the hair's gone. And um, I've got some springs. Um, they should have been here a couple of days ago, but thanks to the unique way that Parcel 4 seemed to work, their next day delivery takes three days. Mm. Yeah, sat in Leicester for two days, so it wasn't best impressed. And of course you try and contact people and everybody's hide, hiding behind shields at the moment. But anyway, they're here now. So my job today, being a Saturday is to get the springs on and I've just come out here to, to start the job it's about eight o'clock in the morning and uh, it's raining well it's spitting um, I'm not gonna let a bit of rain stop me so I want to get this done and I want to get it moving again because um, it it annoys me every time I see it jacked up in the air with the wheels off so um, right, let's stop waffling let's get on with it um, I'm not going to record a lot today because it's going to be really boring it's just putting everything back as it was um, so it's going to be hopefully a short video and hopefully everything's going to go okay and uh, I just want to get crack on with it and get the job done so I'll catch you later my precious so as I've mentioned before uh, the great thing about coilovers is you can take the preload off them uh, so you don't need spring compressors or anything crazy like that. You just basically put the spring on, uh, put the top on, bang your nut on, and then take the preload up to round about where you think it's going to be. Um, I counted the number of uh, twists actually on this, so I'm going to set it about the same as it was. Uh, because they're new springs, they're probably going to need some adjustment anyway. So there you go. Easy to put on, much better than using spring compressors and you know, taking your own life into your hands. Making good progress. Um, so yeah, literally everything's bolted up. Uh, dry shafts back in, all the bottom joints back on. Obviously the spring's on now, uh, all bolted in at the top, sway bar's on. Uh, so now just got to put the brake caliper back on, put the disc back on, put the wheel back on, and then that's this side done. And I'll be honest, um, yeah, it, it's took me well, less than an hour probably between half and three quarters an hour to be brutally honest but yeah not too bad at all I'll say putting them back in again um, seems a lot easier than taking them out but um, right let's waffle uh, let's get on with it well as I said not gonna go crazy with the filming today but uh, yeah this side's on uh, brake has put back on uh, the coil over is well is that where I think it needs to be but obviously I need to uh, lower it down to the ground see what's going on Ah, the compressor kicks in. Um, all the lines back on, uh, obviously sway bar. Um, all the bolts are done up, been round, double checked them, uh, torqued them up, obviously. Uh, top tool put back on again. So, we now start on the other side. And this is the side that gave me a little bit of grease before. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. I don't think it's going to be any grief putting it back, to be honest, but uh, you never know. That could be my last famous words. Right, let's uh, let's chat and let's get on with it. But first of all, a brew. Thanks, Deb. <sighs> Don't make a bad coffee, Deb. Nice and strong. Right, let's get on with it. Get in there. Uh, so right, we are bolted up up top um, and did uh, did that on the top there and it's actually an AID bolt. Get me. I know it doesn't match those, but it does the job nicely. So that uh, is a crisis averted and it's uh, very well captured underneath now. Um, just put the, I think that's the headlight um, aim adapter or something. Oh, I don't know the official t title, but works <laughs> so I'll leave it alone uh, but I think what happens is the wheels go up and down it um, it moves your headlights to uh, as not to dazzle people um, corn over is obviously on um, I've just got to adjust it to the other side gonna get my vernier calipers out and uh, make sure they're spot on uh, again may have to adjust them but it uh, doesn't matter uh, it's not a big job just got to jack it up and uh, I think you can do it without taking the wheels off if I remember rightly um, so basically now just a little bit of cleanup um, Put the cover back on, or the splash guard for the dish, dish for the disc. Um, what else have we got to do? 
a sway bars on, that's all tight. So yeah, I think it's just the, the cover now, um, the protective cover for the disc, the brake caliper, and um, we're about done. It didn't take long at all. Um, again, didn't want to video all this because uh, it would have been really, really boring. And I just wanted to get on with it because it is threatening rain. Uh, as you can see at the moment, it's very overcast and cloudy and uh, it keeps spitting. So I think, uh, well, it's saying about 10 o'clock. It's actually going to chuck it down. So need to get this done. Uh, so right, let's waffle. Get on with it. I'll catch you later. Ah, oh, there you have it, internet. We're all back together. All bolted up, nice and solid. Lots of lovely copper grease all over the place. Yeah, I know the camp's out with copper, copper grease. Some people say I use it, some people don't. I use it, but very sparingly. Um, so all set up with the verniers. Um, everything's all okay up there. Um, everything seems fine. So panel back on again, uh, wheels back on. And um, yeah, take it for a test drive, see what it's like. Um, again, I might have to adjust the coilovers, don't know, set them uh, where I think they should be and they're uh, spot on both sides, so if it's a little bit low and it's rubbing then just have to jack them up a bit, but uh, it's fixed, so right, get that panel back on and uh, yeah, let's uh, get it ready for a test drive. And there you go ladies and gentlemen, 1S3 back on the ground again. Um, looking a little high on the front end at the moment, but again Gonna let those springs settle in before I make any adjustments. Uh, they're both at the same height, and that's the important thing. But uh, yeah, they're a little bit, a little bit high. Um, I'm sure I had them lower before, but I'll give it a go. See what happens. Uh, they'll probably bed in and probably sink a little bit uh, over the next couple of days. But uh, yeah, just about finished. All I've got to do now is charge the battery up. Um, <laughs> the battery was a bit low, so. Uh, yeah, just giving it a quick charge just to get it started. It hasn't been used in oh, over a week, week and a half. Um, don't know what the battery drained. I think um, I left a light on in the boot or something, but who knows? Um, if the battery starts playing me up, it'll get changed. Simple as. Uh, ironically, my neighbour this morning, <laughs> he's got a, a relatively new Honda. That wouldn't start either. So it's obviously battery season. And uh, he obviously a few weeks ago, oh, a few months ago now, did that one right um so all i need now is to clear away <laughs> because i've made a right mess uh, make sure the battery's got enough charging to start it give it a run see how she fares right bear with there you go she started one thing that concerned me and i've kind of gone wow that's a good idea um i put the wipers on and i thought i'll just flick them to make sure that they're they're in the right place and um, didn't realise, should have done, but me being me, um, that they may hit the bonnet in that position. So Audi, on this one anyway, won't let you operate the wipers when the bonnet's up, which is a great idea. But, but it kind of stumped me for a minute. I thought, oh, now I've broke the wipers. But um, now they're working fine. When I closed the bonnet, everything came back. So I've uh, put the cats back on now, on there, and that I will call finished. Ah, so far so good. I'm not sure it's just because I've been driving the wife's car, but it does feel... It does feel smoother. Yeah, suspension definitely feels a lot less sharp. Definitely. You still know it's on coilovers, but it's yeah. Yeah, I like. I think we're gonna call this job successful. So I'm happy. The S3 back, it's all back on the road. Don't mind driving the Weiss car, but uh, I quite like the pair of this one. <laughs> I know, boy racer. And we're back, one successful test drive. Um, settled down a little bit now. Um, 
still a little bit high on the front um, and it's pulled the back up a little bit as well so obviously with new springs they've got a little bit more tension in them uh, what's this side looking like yeah much the same to be honest it's looking quite level over the whole car um, so I'm not going to do anything today I'm just going to leave as is all I am going to do is clean it I mean look at the poor old thing look at that Sahara dust all over the place and bird poop and everything so yeah she needs a damn good clean a good wipe down and a damn good polish get her ready for summer right so that is it that is where I'm going to leave it the S3 is back and um, yeah it, it drives nice gotta say thanks for joining YouTube catch you later